I just noticed like something random. <laughs> what? Like the TV is on and she has a fridge, but there's only one thing plugged into the power outlet. <gasps> Spoopy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Kimi and Koku here, and we're continuing the letter with Buttons and Leafly from Cacophony of Games. Yes, and an old friend is back. <laughs> God, I love this music. <laughs> she looks at me, eyes hollow, gaze piercing and boring into my very soul like a set of chains to keep my whole body still. I like how her head twitches. Yeah. There are no shadows or whispers this time. Only a plea. A hum, low and indistinct. Compelling me, beckoning me, intent on dragging me to the void beyond the glass. I don't dare move. My heart hammers against my ribs, each beat, every thump screaming at me to look away and make a run for it. But I can't. I couldn't. All of my limbs feel heavy, while my own breathing strains in the face of her calls. Her mouth is stretched in a grin, wide and unpleasant. The panic building up in my chest forces me to take a tentative step back. I try not to stare at the decaying flesh, the blood streaming from the gaping wounds on her arm or her nailless fingers. I don't want this. Not like this. Not after I got what I wanted for Papa. No, no, stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> Her face contorts oh. into something twisted and she lets out a wail, sharp and utterly unforgiven. Rage. There is only hatred and bitterness, as if the very notion of turning away from her is an offense in itself. Please! I don't want this! Oh no. Before I know it, I'm stumbling backwards, my own throat, hoarse from screams I don't even notice already coming out from my own mouth. The back of my feet catches on a loose stone, sending me sprawling on the ground. The resulting pain completely jolts me out of the haze, blurring my mind. For a little while, my surroundings appear unfamiliar until Becca's face swims into my vision. A look of concern is on her face, and her hands are gripping my arms tight. You know, this actually reminds me of something that I, I intended to bring up when we first when we first started recording this in this session, but I'm finding it weird that I'm not sure if the letter quite works the way we think it does. Cause so far we've been assuming that anyone who sees the letter gets cursed. And in order to lift the curse, they have to show the letter to five other people. Now, <laughs> if that's the case, then we already have Hannah, Luke, Marianne, uh, Becca, Zach, and Ashton who are cursed. But we still have and the Rose. letter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Rose. But we still have the letter. Mm -hmm. So how are they supposed to get rid of the curse if they don't have the letter? And now we're seeing that it doesn't seem like they saw Charlotte. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe they're supposed to to have the letter i mean like, it's just it's about it's not giving it away the letter only specifies that you have to show it to people it doesn't specify that you have to give it to them that they have to take it and have it yeah but um the, yeah it could like there's no way yeah, for but... them to lift the curse are they just not supposed to be giving that chance period or... well i know thing... that go ahead oh, sorry i know that in the ring uh you have to actually make copies of it yeah. Hmm. 
So maybe it's like, hey, copy this note with your own blood. (laughs) (laughs) I know one thing I noticed is it looks like there's actually more than one copy circulating because that was something that Isabella, when it ended up in the Wright's hands, uh, Isabella had said that she had put it elsewhere. So it didn't make sense as to why it was on her person when she handed over the documents for the house. Yeah, either that or, like... Like, I don't recall her saying that she put it somewhere else. I could have sworn that that was, like, either the implication or flat out said that she didn't know why it was there with that, with those documents. Yeah, like, I do remember... Go ahead. Oh, yeah, because uh, the thing I, I think I remember is that she never, like, she never noticed having the letter with her. But it's still weird because the documents, she went to pick up the documents from Rose, Rose's car. Yeah, mm. because, like, the only time she herself picked up the letter was in that attic room. And then that's when she noticed, who I'm assuming is Charlotte, the lady who's been haunting her. And then she was busy trying to open the door, so I don't think she took the letter with her. But it was in the papers that Rose had, and she made a comment about how she thought that if she got rid of it, it would still, she had the feeling it would still find its way to her. Yeah, so she put it away, like, after that. Yeah, after that she did, yeah. But it's just and like... that's why it fell on the ground when she was rummaging through her bag. I don't remember what she was looking for when she was with her friends, and the letter just came out. She was looking for money, because Zach asked for, like, a smaller bill to buy food. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, it's yeah, like, how, how exactly does this work? Like The other thing, too, because the ghost seems to get angry the more and more um, Isabella refuses to help her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It might actually be show it to five other people because she's trying to get help. And it's pulling a traditional gothic sense of ghosts are not actually evil. They are some form of warning from the supernatural with huge ass air quotes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was kind of the thing with the ring, too. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah. Like, so we do maybe... Know, we do know that she committed suicide, so... Who, who the hell quote-unquote committed suicide, so who the hell knows what's really going on? That's yeah. true. But, but did, did she actually? Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we know, but is that what actually happened? Who knows? We'll have to find out. But yeah, that was just some food for thought I wanted to lay out. <laughs> A look of concern is on her face and her hands are gripping my arms tight. Even Zack appears besides himself with worry while he stands behind her, acting as a shield against the small crowd of onlookers already forming around us. What happened? Bella, you okay? My mouth opens and closes, but nothing comes out. The words refuse to form. On impulse, I sneak a swift glance at the display window. She's gone. So yeah, another quick thing. It seems like maybe the ghost can only hmm. ever target one person at a time. Because like, yeah, this is... And likely right. whoever's holding on to the letter. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking maybe you're right. Maybe you're right in that... Like, maybe she's not actually... Like, passing the course of the letter. But it's like the ghost... Like, gives the letter to this one person. And this person needs to show it to five other people to like grab them together in, in whatever it is, but, like, they're sharing the same cars. So, like, hmm. I don't know if you get the idea, but, like, like maybe, yeah, she's getting, like, a group of people. Uh, and maybe that's... And maybe, maybe the other... It's trying to help her form her party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something <laughs> yes. like that. Uh, that maybe the other Amazing. people... The missing people, that they're actually dead because maybe they didn't show the letter to anyone. Maybe. That's also possible. Um, but I have a feeling that's how we're going to end up unlocking the other chapters where it's obvious that like it's going from another person's point of view. Is I think the physical letter is actually going to end up being passed. Hmm. In which case, the ghosts... Uh, in, in D&D, they call it a phylactery, right? For liches. Yeah. The item that basically ties them to the real world and allows them to interact with the real world. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, In this case, the letter's kind of like that. It's her tie to the real world, so when it gets passed, she'll be able to interact with that character. Makes sense, too. I guess we'll know more in the future, hopefully. Yeah, we'll find out. (laughs) Yet the foreboding feeling hasn't left me. Uh, Excuse me. My hands are shaking. That's foreboding feeling. (laughs) Oh, no, it was just gas. My hands are shaking as I push myself off the ground. Weakened limbs relying solely on reflex and muscle memory. Something icy has made its home at the pit my stomach. I want to throw up anything to get the wretched sensation out of my gut. You are screaming, having a fit! Zack, call someone! No, don't! I'm good, I'm good! I need, I need to get to the office. Rose, the floor plans. Someone's going to pick it up. I'll see you later. Run away! Be careful! Don't stand up yet. Stay put, Isabella. Zack, you watch over her for me. I'll call for... uh, for someone. I attempt to put... I attempt to smile to put her at ease, but it likely comes off as a grimace. Jay may see that we got a timeline for the 21st, even though we're on the 22nd. We did? Did we? That definitely said 21st. I, I didn't notice. The 22nd? But um, maybe it's just a glitch in the... Yeah, because the new the... says it's for the 22nd. All right, hmm. I'll yeah, maybe check... that was a glitch in the pop-up. Yeah, I'll check. Actually, you know what? Let me write that down. I'm in like the server for the game. Let me quickly write that down so I don't forget. Yay! Ah. <laughs> Ooh, I got drawing. Ooh. Uh, okay. I get. I guess I'm back in charge of the journal, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're the journal master. Okay. After a pleasant lunch with Zachary Steele and Rebecca Gales, Isabella Santos re- received an urgent phone call from Rose Cooper, asking her to meet with the Wright's interior designer. Left with no choice, she hurried back to BRC. But on her way, on one of the shops, on one of the shops she passed by, a familiar smile greeted her. That beautiful, pristine smile. Also, it's a Colgate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, we don't know. We don't actually know either if BK was actually seeing something or if she was actually looking at like stuff, stuff in the shop, in the shops. Yeah, I get the impression yeah. she didn't actually see her. Otherwise, she'd know what I... Isabella was freaking out about. True. Or maybe she like sees something, like you know, when you see something out of the corner of your eye, hmm. and that way she was because Isabella said that she was giving like glimpses. <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, I guess we'll know when we're each, she has a chapter two, right? Yep. I think so. Yep. All the main character, all the people that you see here have their own chapter. So it's, yeah, but it looks uh, like Anna, Zachary, Marianne, oh, she's one of the last ones. Luke. Yeah, Luke is last, which I find very interesting. His chapter is gonna be a doozy, I bet. Yep. I'm so excited to see that character just break. <laughs> Let's break him. I attempt to smile to put her at ease, but it likely comes off as a grimace. Gently, I push her hands off my shoulders. My knees are still trembling, but I can't stand. Leave. Leave me. Stay away. Far from here. Away. Oh, Isabella. The humidity stifling. Everyone's stares are unnerving, and Becca and Zack's concerns are suffocating. I want to be away from here. I break into a run. Ooh. I wish I hadn't Ooh. left my bed this morning. It's easy to fall into a cycle of negative thinking with only the occasional drips of water on the sink and the whirring of the fan blades to keep me company. So relatable, Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. The room is devoid of any other light source apart from the one streaming from the hallway and the windows. I just noticed like something random. <laughs> what? Like, the TV is on and she has a fridge, but there's only one thing plugged into the power outlet. <gasps> Spoopy! <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
I didn't even think about that. I just automatically assumed it was an extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> you... Oh, clearly that's the haunting we're meant to discover. <laughs> Spoiled milk is most likely going to be the most spookiest I... thing to discover. I don't know, maybe it is, but I'm just like, why would she have one? Like, it's close by, so... Man, the only thing that would improve this game is if it allowed you to open the fridge and take out the spoiled milk and just use it as an interaction on everything. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> let the know that they should get on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't let Ron have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the clutter I've accumulated over the years, the room feels a whole lot bigger than it commonly is. I hug my knees closer as a group passes by outside. Loud. So loud. Relatable. If only there Throw was them a something. way to tune everything else out to keep my head from playing every image, every sound of her. Her screams, her awkward gait as she reaches for me, her bone chilling smile, her pleas for enough. I honestly. I honestly wouldn't be able to stay by myself nope. after that. Uh uh. Yeah. <laughs> a shiver passes over me, though it's not from the hair still hanging damp against my back, nor the draft that enters the room from the windows I've left open. My gaze shifts over the letter sitting on the coffee table. Its edges flutter innocuously. Is that how you pronounce that? Mm hmm. As the wind yep. touches it. Uh it actually does say send it to five people, not show it to five people. Ooh. Oh. Oops. Ooh. Oops. Lord. So actually, oh, oh, no. reset the oh. clock. <laughs> Funny how an ordinary looking piece of paper can bring this much trouble. I like how the game was like, here you guys, you missed this. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> the impulse to throw it away or rip it to pieces is still there. I can easily do it. But after that, what? I'm actually curious. Like, <laughs> Will she leave me? What about those people who have already seen it? Will they be okay? Nah. This uncertainty gnaws at me. Knowing she's real, it might also go after the people I care about. I just wish someone would listen. Believe me. The abrupt break in the silence nearly makes me jump out of my skin. Blindly, I fish the gadget out from the mess of cushions and papers beside me, where I've carelessly thrown it earlier before taking a shower. Ash's name flashes brightly on the screen. Oh, God. He's alive. Is he calling back because of this afternoon? Thank you so much for spamming my inbox with the same message, scared cat. Shut up. Yes! <laughs> I just had a long day. The couple who bought the house wanted us to finish processing the papers within the week. It's a little hectic, but we'll manage. Really? You sold it? Don't sound so surprised. I told you, you don't stand a chance. The rights won't take no for an answer. You've been on the losing end from the very start. Ha! Whoever said I was interested in the house in the first place? But you said... His snigger comes off as annoying to my ears. I fight the urge to end the call right then and there. Stupid Ash. You're such an ass. And just so you know, <clears throat> I'm not treating you to a separate celebration. Forever. No, that's just unfair. And here I was looking something up for you. Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Andrew? I pause. I did say that, but I didn't think he'd actually go through the trouble, considering how much he scoffed at the whole topic in the first place. Is he... is he okay with that? Totally. Besides, I need to ask him about something. I might as well do it soon. What do you say you come with me tomorrow morning? Well, there's no harm in it, I suppose. I've got a free day anyway. Great, I'll just pick you up. Don't oversleep. Don't compare me to you. I'm not the one who sleeps like a rock. You just slept through your morning. <laughs> <laughs> Another round of chuckles come from him. Oh, I will live for the day he'll stop making fun of me. Just you wait, you... You... You asshole. 
As I'm about to press the button to end the call, he clears his throat. And, uh, Isabella? Ooh. The different tone in his voice sends my eyebrows shooting up into my airline. Air hairline. <laughs> <laughs> it's my airline. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it also works. <laughs> what were you saying about money problems? What? <laughs> Is the world ending today? <laughs> Badly Photoshop over Ash's name and everything pusillanimous. <laughs> the entire game. <laughs> and on that note, we will end things right here with Ash chickening out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us uh, and see you next time. See you next time, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye.